And I was watching to today or yesterday this clip from a guy named Matt Walsh. I don't know if you're familiar with Matt Walsh, mm -hmm. but he went on the Dr. Phil show and he talked to transgenders, mm -hmm. kind of debated their position or their belief system. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to kind of play it a little bit and see, see where it goes. But Matt Walsh here. You're only a touch away. Well, sorry, that's a commercial. There we go. We've been together for about five years. Five years. Been for three years. I use they them pronouns. Being non binary just means that I just don't identify with the gender I was signed at birth, and I don't identify exclusively with being a man or a woman. I'm something in between outside of that binary. So that's crazy. She, I, the other he, she, whatever, identifies as she, he, they, them. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about him, I don't know if it's a boy or girl. It's well, most likely, it's, a, it's probably a transgender woman, a man who was born a man and then has transitioned into mm -hmm. a female-like mm -hmm. being. But but even but even then she's she or he is saying there are they mm -hmm. so when you talk about them and i think the reason why it's because it's a he she like i'm not i'm not she, trying but, to make but lies. this is the, I'm, I'm already confused mm -hmm. he, he or she mm -hmm. doesn't want to be called he or she mm -hmm. which is why they is the pronoun that they do. <laughs> I don't know. It's so There's weird. Just, they want to be called they. Yeah. Because so. it's not, it's not a he or a she. It's a they because it's both. Because it's neither. It's both and neither. It's, it's neutral. It's non-binary, uh, but it, see, they're <laughs> anyways, we should say he, because it's, he's a man. He's a man transitioning <laughs> into a woman and he wants to be called It's Dave. madness. Yeah. I feel I, on one side that this is a cause of the catering to emotion and the mm -hmm. catering to to subjective feelings. Mm -hmm. I feel this way, so therefore you should cater to my feelings. Mm -hmm. And that's just not how truth works do you think it comes from that th that thinking of i think therefore i am i feel therefore i am like a perverse notion because mm -hmm. renee descartes who said that mm -hmm. um was searching for truth meaning of his reality mm -hmm. he wanted to know why he was mm -hmm. and who he was and make sure that he actually was and he wasn't just right whereas they don't care whether or not they exist or whether or not they're in truth they just want to be catered to mm -hmm. in their feelings and in their and what they subjectively feel mm -hmm. so that's it's the, madness oh. just so y'all know i am a millennial but i do not <laughs> i am not we both are yeah. uh this generation has just butchered our society like it truly has well i feel like there is still a sh like even within the millennial generation it's like um like a degradation of uh, of our own generation you know because mm -hmm. i feel like i think like um even for ourselves mm -hmm. i was born in 89 you were born in 90 but we were raised with certain principles mm -hmm. that kind of were residual of the mm -hmm. generation X and mm -hmm. the baby boomers. I know, but I feel I feel like there's so much that occurred within our generation that our generation didn't like about how we were being brought up mm -hmm. and therefore they chose to completely change it. For example, like they don't want us to discipline our kids anymore because they were disciplined. Mm -hmm. They don't want spankings because they were spanked. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't want to tell, they didn't want to be told who they're supposed to date. Mm -hmm. So they're not telling their kids who to date. They don't want to be told how to dress. So they're going to let their kids dress mm -hmm. however they want to dress, whether it's female or male. 
you know. It's an overall rejection rejection of authority. It's yeah. It's That's like the it complete. Is. They're trying to go the complete opposite mm. of order. Right. Exactly. And that there needs to be some kind of stru structural integrity of, of order. Mm -hmm. Like if there's no order, if there's no authority, mm -hmm. then you have nothing but anarchy. And anarchy. They're just animals. Yeah, you you can't exist in a culture of anarchy or in a society of anarchy. If there is no structural integrity in society, if there is no hierarchy of of authorities, mm -hmm. then anyone can do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And this is what's this is what's happening with with this video. I'm gonna add your video right now. Hold on. Share more information with people because people are curious, they want to understand, because sometimes they don't always have the opportunities to do that. Okay, so, okay, so wait, is oh, so I think this one right here, <laughs> this one right here is a female who transitioned into a male type. I don't thing. think so, I think they're both male. Well, that's the crazy thing is I truly believe that this one right here is a female who transitioned into a male. Oh, you're fine. Who genuinely transitioned into... Because this one, whoever her na his name is, mm -hmm. says his pronouns is he, them. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she, he was born a she. And the other one was born a he... Who is now they them? I don't know. Who is now? I'm, I'm not gonna try. Has and certain it. <laughs> traits of femininity. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Is a hot topic. Yes. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Why is it a good thing? I guess because it creates dialogue and it invites conversation to learn about other people. Yeah, and I think a lot of people are really confused about gender identity in these times, and it's good for us to have these conversations so people open their minds and relearn and unlearn to what we've been taught. Right. And as many people think gender pronouns are exclusive to the LGBTQ plus community, but that's a misconception, true? Yeah. Well, everybody has pronouns. Like, you may use he and him as your pronouns, right? I use they and them as my pronouns. We all may have a certain gender pronoun too, but I think it's important for people to understand that for trans and non-binary people, we often change our pronouns to reflect who we are when we come out and be who we are. How do you explain the difference between sex and gender? I consider sex to be uh, our biological makeup, our chromosomes, our hormones, our genitals is a biological makeup, but our gender is more of an internal sense. So think of it like this, sex is what's between the legs, and gender was between the ears, right? It's not okay, so obviously when we were growing up, sex and gender were the same mm -hmm. because scientifically, if you're gonna make okay, if you're gonna make science the objective method of interpreting truth, mm -hmm. which is what they did for the last majority of the Enlightenment period, mm -hmm. and since we're post Enlightenment, we're post modern. Science doesn't get to define objective truth. This is post-modernity. This is post-modernism. Mm -hmm. Is that biology, sci science, science, scientific truth mm -hmm. doesn't get to define objective truth. Mm -hmm. What There is no objective truth in post-modern thinking. Mm -hmm. So in this person's mind, biologically... It's true that they were born with male reproductive systems. That's mm -hmm. true. But that doesn't get to define it finally mm -hmm. and ultimately. Mm -hmm. Because truth is subjective. Although scientific, through scientific method, you mm -hmm. could measure and you could I weigh mean, and you can... Truth is not subjective. It's just their feeling is what defines who they are right but they'll admit this that they'll, they'll admit that scientifically biologically mm -hmm. they're born a specific mm -hmm. um, sex mm -hmm. but their gender mm -hmm. is fluid mm -hmm. gender is a social construct in their mm -hmm. perspective mm -hmm. gender roles 
the way gender is understood in the postmodernist way of thinking, it's fluid because it's subjective. No one gets to define what it is other than the structural powers. Mm -hmm. This is where the concept of social justice comes in mm -hmm. is if you have a minority group who is being what they would call disenfranchised or marginalized, meaning they're they're being kept out of the power structure that's causing them to be hurt or killed or cast into poverty or mm -hmm. <clears throat> left out of certain goods and services that the rest mm -hmm. of the the rest of those in power have mm -hmm. then then the good the justice of that would be to take those who are have mm -hmm. and give it to the have nots mm -hmm. that's in their mind that's justice mm -hmm. because the power structures to a certain degree is pushing them away so the goal is to make sure you flatten out the power structures. Mm -hmm. And how do you flatten out power structures? You flatten out society. Because if men have power, then there is no man. It's fluid. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if authority has power, then there should be no authority. We're all equals. Mm -hmm. And that's what an egalitarian society looks like. Mm -hmm. Is that there's a flattening out of all the power structures, all the authorities all the roles including gender roles everyone's just equal mm -hmm. but when that happens then that means you can be whatever you want to be mm -hmm. and even an amalgamation of in the of the things in between